beat me up. Now stop the build boys. Why are there two? Ah. Guys, we need ah, we need a federal debt, and we need ah, and we need um, we need the federal reserve, and it needs to bring the states together. Ah, but to do this, gave me no choice. No. Ah. Get no face. No face. Oh, my allergy. Oh. Oh, my allergy. Stop saying this. I don't know why it comes out. Hi. I'm Alexander Hamilton. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it all started one week ago. I was at the office meeting with a fellow colleague and Democrat Republican, Albert Gallatin. I really dislike your economic plan. It is, I, I do not think it is going to work out well. I, I you think don't. yours is any better? Yeah, I think I, I could be way better at Secretary of the Treasury so. than you. We need, we need a Federal Reserve, okay? Yeah, right. And the states, they're so, the states, all their economic interests, they're all over the place, right? They're all individualistic. We need to have a federal debt, and the federal debt will bind the states together, and we need a federal reserve to fund that, okay? We need this debt to pull the country together in a time where we need it so much. I disagree. I, I disagree so much. I think we should have a strict, strict economic policy. Well, you're wrong, we okay? And I'm, I'm smarter than you, and I am the best person. I know what I'm doing, okay? I'm Alexander Frick! Hamilton! <laughs> You're so arrogant. You're so arrogant, Alexander. What are you going to do about it, huh? What are you going to do about it? I'm Alexander I'm going to become way better Secretary of Treasury than you ever were. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Frick you. There will be no see you tomorrow, Alexander. <laughs> Little did I know the whiskey on his breath and the banknote clenched in his fists would forever follow me. After a hard day at the office, a quick way to unwind would be with a quick rendezvous with Maria Reynolds. If only her husband, James Reynolds, hadn't did follow us there. Uh, what's going on in here? Oh, oh, no, it's hey, no, no, no. It's Alexander Hamilton. Oh, it's all on, no, it's, it's okay, hey. it's okay. Hey. No, no, no. I'm going to expose you for sleeping with my wife. Hey, hey, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on, shush, 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 big boy. Now I need you. I'm going to give you some money, okay? Right? I'm going to give you some money. And you're not gonna let this get out, okay? I'll think. I'm gonna, we're gonna work. I'm, I'm gonna give you some money, and you're gonna let me keep sleeping with your wife. You're not gonna expose me politically, okay? All right. Sounds nice. Okay, that sounds good to you. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no sleep with wife anymore, Alexander. With a few more blackmail attempts, I got tired of that James Reynolds bugging me. I released the Reynolds pamphlet, set the truth out, and for the public to hear it straight from me. James would have no way with this. The Declaration of, Ro of the Rights of Man state nothing of sharing a wife, and Reynolds bought a one-way ticket to Philadelphia. <laughs> of course, my wife got a hold of the Reynolds pamphlet. A total disgrace smeared upon the Schuler name. Eliza would barely look at me in the eye. Oh, hey, Eliza. Babe, what's going on? What's going on, Eliza? I think you could tell me, Alexander. Tell you, tell you about what? Tell me what's going on. What's going on? What are you, what, what are you talking? I saw that pamphlet you posted. You saw those pamphlets? You Baby. think I wouldn't? No, no. Look, okay, honey. You think you could cheat on me? You, and think Brian, about my political standing. Hold on. Your political may be, standing is more important than our marriage? I may be an adulterator, but I'm not a liar. I know you're not a liar, but you're an adulterator. What do you want me to say? I mean, I'm a, I'm a politician. Don't you, you love you me? me? You want me to put you want me to put my career on the line? Yes, I Alexander. I love you. I love you, but, but, but. The... Yeah, right, Alexander. How, how could I resist? How could you resist? I'm right here. Oh, <laughs> my God. You're an awful husband. I should take my eight children and run. You know, maybe you should. All right, I'm the best person in this room. I'm the smartest. I'm the. I am the economic powerhouse of the United States of America! Joke's on you, Alexander. I watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no more husband. 
Later that night, by the light of the candle, Eliza would use her best feather to write, Thanks, my friends. I knew we were going to do it. Despite her intellectual objections, she read over the Bill of Rights. When this, we kill Alexander Hamilton because he's stupid, right, You're guys? Right. Yeah. I hate that guy. Let me yeah, burn some incense stupid. over his stupid body because I'm in a cult. Hey, I need some of that whiskey. Here you All go. this talk to make I'm me thirsty. thirsty. I bet Alexander Hamilton would like whiskey, <laughs> but you aren't getting any because you're dead. <laughs> ha! The facts were these Albert Gallatin, James Reynolds, and Eliza Schuler were in a cult. The Juluminati. Thomas Jefferson, with his rift from me, created a secret society. These sane minds would only deal with my antics before being pushed over the edge, wishing for my death. They killed me! Wow! Where is Hamilton for our Taco Tuesday date? Is that bitch cheating on me with someone else? My lovely side chick Maria was no fool. I never miss Taco Tuesday dinner night. Something wrong was afoot. Time to hang around my favorite shed because of that bitch who ditched me. Oh no! It's Alexander Hamilton! My love! Who did this to you? We're in a cult. A cult better than me. Wait, what? A what is that? A cult of people better than me. They killed me. They killed me! A cult of people killed me! I have to avenge my side piece. With these scenes from the crime scene. <laughs> Declaration of the Rights of Man. The Bill of Rights, a banknote, and a note from an anonymous killer. Maria was going to get to the bottom of the case. After four sleepless nights and countless dead ends, Maria unraveled the Illuminati. Man, we killed him dead. Yeah, he's, he's like dead. so dead that he's, he's dead. In the and ground. we got away you can with smell it, too. it You can smell his carcass. Yeah. You know what I smell? Murder. <laughs> I don't You're right! What? Oh, God dang it! And now you're and we would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling side piece. No! <laughs> <laughs>